I think since we moved here, um, <coughs> we've increased in size. We, we only took 10 before, and now we, we take 41 people. And that's in itself is a challenge. Um, I think that um, the type of people we're taking, we take people with more complex needs, mental health, things like that. So it's been a massive learning curve for us. The Elms is our short-term temporary accommodation, run in partnership with Decorum Borough Council. The Elms offers a place to stay and intensive support under one roof. Well, now they had their, uh, their own room with an ensuite shower and toilet facility where they didn't have that before, they had to share bathrooms. The food is brought in and prepared by a professional catering company. We also run uh, a program of activities and training on site which we couldn't do before, so I think that all of that combined is a, is a good package. The brand new state-of-the-art accommodation includes three specially adapted rooms for disabled residents, a training kitchen, laundry, IT suite, interview rooms, recreational space, a library, plus a small terrace and garden. We were delighted when Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Gloucester recently visited the Elms to see our work. Every resident is assigned a key worker and is given an individually tailored plan of support during their stay with the aim of moving towards independent living. The guys now can stay with us up to three months and, and that, we hope that that gives them enough time to settle in, um, you know, catch their breath uh, and work with their key workers to address whatever issues they have in order to move on. Uh, and just having that time to, to concentrate on themselves, um, hopefully, is enough. Specialist agencies work with DENS to offer appropriate support, for example with housing, benefits, mental health, drug or alcohol related issues. Some residents usually stay for around four to six weeks, but can stay for up to three months, depending on their needs. Spaces at the Elms have sadly been much in demand, with a waiting list of four to eight people most days. Over 80% of Elms residents move on positively into longer term accommodation. Well, we're full now. We have 41 people uh, in, in the hostel. Um, so potentially there, there'll be 41 people sleeping homeless in the streets of Hemel um, on top of whoever else is out there now. So it's, it's a shame that a place like this is needed. Unfortunately, year on year, we've seen an increase in homeless in the area. And um, it's, yeah, it's a shame that we need it, but unfortunately we, we do.